Hey YouTube, Patriotic Rottweiler, giving you a list of the latest upgrades I've done to my excursion. As you see from my list here, I've done quite a bit in the recent months. Uh, I was waiting for it to finally get cool here. So I've upgraded a bunch of the cooling system this time. Uh, there was nothing wrong with anything. I just wanted to upgrade stuff away from the OEM plastic to more all aluminum uh, devices. So as the first thing you see at the top left, that's the mechanical fan clutch from the 7.3. So I changed out the electric one and put this one in. And of course you have to have the little adapter and you can get all this from Amazon. The next one is a uh, water pump. I got from Diesel Site. I'm here in Gainesville and they're over in uh, near Homosassa. So it was just a quick trip over there to to um, get get the water pump. I was going to go with all Mishimoto, but those prices are just crazy from what I can tell. And so I went with this Prime Cooling 45 miller three row radiator and that thing fits perfectly. So it's completely fine with me. Um, I also got the CSF6013 intercooler, so that's all aluminum. I got that from eBay. I did get the G Plus silicone upper and lower hoses, radiator hoses, but the bottom one was for some other uh, vehicle, maybe a, a E250 or something like that because it just wasn't right. So I went with a regular uh, Motorcraft lower radiator hose, but I did utilize the G plus silicone hose for the upper hose. So I did get the Mishimoto little overflow hose and I'll show you that here in a minute. I uh, already talked about the intercooler. I got some VMS stainless steel banjo bolts. I installed those. Uh, new uh, serpentine belt, belt tensioner, tension pulley, idler pulley. I got all of those installed. While you're already in there, you might as well go ahead and upgrade this stuff. I got a new Bosch alternator with the overdrive pulley and I'll show you that and one of the biggest things that I didn't know about was the sumo springs I got front and rear and those are pretty pretty awesome uh, a hitch tightener which is a minor deal but it does make towing stuff a lot better because it don't you don't have your receiver clanking around and um, exhaust back pressure sensor and tube I replaced both of those and that's you get a crow foot, it's a 5 8 with about a three foot long 3 8 extension. And that makes it a lot easier to remove the tube from the exhaust manifold. And then you take one little 10 millimeter bolt out and that will uh, remove your exhaust back pressure sensor, or at least from the manifold. Then once you get that little tube out, and I'll show you that here in a second, uh, it makes it a lot easier to switch that out, clean it, put it back in. So utilize a 5 8 crow foot with about three foot extension on the 3 8 and that is works perfect. This other thing I got is a hose, radiator hose clamp uh, tool. And I've never used one of those before, but that works pretty, pretty good as well. So those are lifesavers. So let's start up with the truck and we'll see what we can see, of course. So there's that prime cooling radiator, all aluminum. You can't really see the intercooler because I get a black one and it's it's down in there, but it's perfect too. All aluminum. Don't have to worry about plastic cracking. There's the new um, G Plus silicone radiator hose. Like I said, I wish the bottom would have worked, but it, it didn't. So I just I just uh, use the regular Motorcraft for the bottom one. You can't really see it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, of course, you have to remove a bunch of this stuff whenever you're in here working on it. So there's the Mishimoto hose that goes at the bottom of the coolant tank and goes down towards the water pump. You won't be able to really see the water pump or any of that. It's down in there and I've put the what I torqued everything down to. I put that in the I'll put that in the description. Um, you can see the exhaust exhaust back pressure sensor. That's right there and it's on this little tube and it goes down, you really won't be able to see that well, but there it goes right down there and use the five eighths on that with that three foot extension and, and it makes that a lot easier. Go ahead and get that 
broke loose with that crow foot and then there's a little 10 millimeter nut that holds the sensor in place and you unplug it of course and it you take it right out clean it put it back reinstall new stuff whatever you need to do so i removed both batteries i removed a bunch of the you know the pipes cold air intake so you won't really be able to see the the uh cooling fan or anything i still have the wiring harness in there it's just taped up where it's not in the way so there's the new alternator with the overdrive pulley and new belt. I'm gonna tape those uh, wires up a little bit better. While I was in there, I cleaned a bunch of the sensors. I don't know if you can really see the banjo bolt, but it's down in there. Uh, stainless steel, there's, there's a brand new belt tensioner. All the, the, the two other pulleys that go along with that. So, I, well, like I said, while I was in there, I replaced everything that I could replace and uh, reinstalled everything. So let me show you the Sumo. Oh, by the way, this DeWalt light is awesome. And I utilized, I bought one of these to go up here on the hood and that was awesome as well. I'd run that thing all day long and off of just one battery and it has different settings. You could run it at a lower setting but it really didn't matter. I had so many batteries, it didn't matter anyway. But both of these lights is what I used to do the work on this, and it was. Okay, so I'm back with the, um, up under the front left tire, and you know the OEM bump stops, they're basically, basically worthless, and they keep deteriorating. I had replaced the original ones, and they lasted for about 10 years and they were starting to deteriorate again. So then I was doing more research about those and I found these Sumo Springs and I went ahead and bought front and rear and they are pretty awesome. These actually do work. Unlike your bump stops, they only, you know, are utilized whenever they hit something really hard where these Sumo Springs work 24 seven, basically. So they help to smooth out the ride and they are a little pricey and they could possibly be designed a little bit better to make it easier to install but you know it's not completely terrible so once you get them in they're in they have a lifetime warranty and so far i am very happy with with these let me show you the backs as well okay here's a quick shot of the ones in the back this is the left rear and as you can see, they're constantly in contact with the with the metal stop on the axle, and they assist with you know leveling out your load and keeping the rear end of your vehicle stabilized. And like I said, I've only towed one time real light with them. I've driven it completely empty with just stock, uh, with nothing on the trailer ball, and they work great. So I'm very happy with this. So one last thing I, I had got is this, there we go, hitch tightener. And that is awesome too. It keeps your, keeps your ball and the receiver from bouncing around. So these are all really great things that I've installed and I'm very happy with all of them. Of course, you know, you can choose different stuff for your vehicle and I sure don't have them a problem with that but this is the stuff that I chose to install on mine. Some of them I'll have the foot pound for ins installation. I also watched uh, some YouTubes and I got some of this Vibratite blue gel lock tight and uh, thread locker. And I like this gel much better than the, than the you know, old liquid kind. It, this stuff will stay on the bolt threads a lot easier. So those Sumo Springs also come in different colors, but for the ones for the stock excursion, you can get the, the black and the yellow, which are progressively heavier weight duty, but uh, the blues are what was recommended, and so that's what I got. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the area below, and I appreciate it.
you check it out my video